Right, people, today I have got my top seven tips that I utilize in Webflow every single day. Now, if you are not utilizing these, you just will not be getting them five-figure websites. So stick around to the end because I will also be giving you a link to my style guide. And of course, if you stick around to the end, it means that this video boosts up. I get more money, you get more money, we all get more money. So let's go ahead and come over to my desktop for the first tip that i'm going to show you right so the first one is obviously we have a style guide here this is the one that i'm going to link and i'll tell you at the end how, where you're going to get this but why this is so good if we come into this is for every single project i have this set up for my desired style so this means it's not actually that complicated um, let's actually, I've got this open in another tab, so let's design here and I'll show you all of the pages. So I've just got to type all of the soul guys. It's just got one page, but it's got the page structure, which you can see here in the top left. And we're going to go on to tip number two for that. But basically, look at all of these tools here. We've got typography where we can quickly edit everything. We have got color palette where we can set up all of the color palette options as well with all of the names look at that nice and clean and of course when you're showing the client this as well they're going to love that you've got this back end set up it's just going to allow us to easily edit the entire site so quickly yep buttons components structures and utilities and cookie pop up which i've um, talked about in another video before of how we can upsell clients another 500 to a thousand pound by implementing this into the site so in the components tab I, I i tend to really make everything from scratch um dependent on the use case of the project so i don't really have that many components i just like to have this basic style set up so that i can get everything pop in so let's go to number two and this is linked to number one tip and that is learning the client first documentation now the reason you need to know about this is because the style guide that i use and the style guide that most people that are actually that are actually good at webflow will be using the client first system so just go through this it's easy you just need to read every single bit and it's going to tick off as you go through and learn everything look how in depth this is there's videos there's tutorials it just literally explains absolutely everything to do with the style guide and why you should be doing it the reason we use this system is because it actually uses the um, best web design practices using rems using the right spacings using the right accessibility practices and if you know anything about this channel the reason we do things the best way is because we want the five figure on up websites and you're not going to be getting that if you're not utilizing these technical know-hows now this isn't that complicated like you should have done the web flow courses already and then once you get through this client first naming document trust me you are going to be an absolute wizard and be able to use the style guide that i told you about right tip number three again if you are utilizing the client first naming system and my style guides you will have a similar structure like this look we've got the body which does not have a tag set to it we have the page wrapper we have a main wrapper we have let's actually go back over to the template page because this has a better structure look page wrapper then we have all of the signatures you should be using signatures because uh, it's going to allow you to easily change things like footers when them annoying clients need to ask for changes and then we've got a main wrapper a section hero and a section zero one now let me show you the tags can you see here now, I'm not using any of Webflow's basic structures. Look, I'm not using a section. I'm not using a container. Because if we go over to the divs, we can see on the main wrapper, it's just a div. But if we go over to the cog icon on the right, you can see this tag here is set to main. That allows Google to know that this is the main content of the site. And it knows to crawl it, boosting your SEO. Number two, every single first section of your website should have a header tag which you can see here again i'm not using a section i'm using a div with a header tag um, associated with it every other section below the header and above the footer will have a section tag and then if we double click into the footer you can see here it's just a div with a footer tag and the reason we do this is because the components that are built within webflow are for the newbies it's for the people that do not know how to utilize webflow to the best of its ability to get that 
absolute um, maximum amount of juice and money out of it. So be using this little joy of a block for literally everything. And you can quickly get up. Actually, I'm gonna save that tip for the end for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to quickly get a div into anything after I show you the next one. Right, the next one you should be doing if you wanna be speeding up uh, your process of design to development is using the Webflow, sorry, the Figma to Webflow plugin. Yes, this means you're gonna to need to use, um, start learning Figma. I will be doing courses on this later because this software is literally, it goes, it's just like, they just, they just work. They, Webflow and Figma are like playing patty cake in a playground. They're the best softwares that work together. And I'm gonna show you why. Look, this is another template if you join the Facebook group below. This is uh, how to make the optimal landing page. And I'm just gonna show you because this is actually set up with the Figma to Webflow clonables. So you can actually copy these into your own site. Let's do that now. So we go into the extension tabs up here. Look, I've already got it here, Figma to Webflow. Let's run that bad. Now I've got a tutorial that will show you how to set this all up, but it's pretty simple. You should be, if I mean, if you're building websites, you should know how to obviously use a typical plugin, but if not, I will provide you with that juicy information. Right, so I'm gonna select, uh, as you can see, it's already chosen my style guide site, and I wanna copy this header section in there. Now let's actually, uh, see that look you can already get them tags you know that tag i was telling you about let's actually call this a section bosh now look i've got the section here copied i'm going to copy to webflow let's come back over to a style guide let's go into our main wrapper and then let's paste that in. Now, you can see with the keys that I pasted in there, I didn't realize it's actually good to do a section. We don't want that. See, let's actually turn that off. Let's go back to Figma and turn that HTML tag back off to div. How dare you think that we are not Webflow pros? Because we will set our own tags. Let's go back. Let me just clear up all of them. Yep, here we go. Right, now I've got the main wrapper selected. Now look down here what keys I'm using, because if you do not copy and paste this in this way, it's gonna duplicate um, your divs instead of having them the same. Now, with that select, we push Option, Command and V. Bosh, we've got the section header, we've got the padding global, and these are all gonna have the styles that are already preset and predefined in your website. Look at that, it's got the button styling, it's got everything, it's, got, it's literally got everything already set up. You don't need to mess with anything, except obviously we have to come back here and set that if it was a header to a header or set it to a section. There you go, easy. Now that is a nice and clean thing. In fact, I'm just gonna give you another top tip right now, because if you don't know about this, style manager here, make sure to speed up your sites. And at the end of the website, you click clean up, because I've been on sites before, you see here, all of these divs we're not using, remove. I've seen websites with tens of thousands of divs that are gonna be pulled through the code that haven't been cleaned up and you can get a page speed boost just from that. That's just an extra tip. That's the tips that I give you guys. Right, tip number five. This is to utilize Webflow clonables. I actually have a lot of people in my Facebook group always asking me, how do I learn uh, to build new components and blah, 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 how to do this and how to do that. What I tend to do, if I wanna learn something, yeah, let's, um, I don't know, what, what type of cool thing do we want? So this, this link, that old link in the um, description, what you can do is turn clonable sites only and say we wanna make this scroll snap section. You know them cool where it doesn't actually like scroll normally, it snaps to each section. I would download this. In fact, I have downloaded this before and I back engineer it. And then I learn how to do it just because somebody else has done it. Now don't just go ahead and like copy this into your site. I never do that. I always copy in these clonable components and then restyle them using my style guide and the fin suite naming convention so that we're using best accessibility practices possible reason we do that again is because it's going to ensure that it's responsive across all websites and clients just aren't going to be going why isn't this working on chrome on my 30 year old samsung we never want that so yeah you should be using marketplace made in webflow turn on clonable sites only and you can literally copy and paste any of these designs. We have four websites on it. I don't know why people are buying templates when you've got literally, look, Timothy Ricks, that bad boy. If you just go to his page on here, he has just got a list of absolute joyous, amazing 
creative, sexy. Look, look at that. I don't even know how he'd done this bad boy, but if that's what I mean. We download that, we back engineer it. Bosh, we're as good as Tim Timothy Ricks. Maybe we're not, but at least we can pretend we can be. Okay, right, this is tip number six, and this is just an extension. I've had this in a video before, but I didn't actually show what I actually used it for. Download this Chrome extension, it's called Flowbase, yeah? They have a paid option, I don't ever use the paid option, but the reason I do this, yeah, is because, look, you can see here, once you download it, you've got this cool little blue air. It's for this. I literally only use it for the icon sets, because you know how often you need to be using icons and i'll just copy that in paste that in there look we've got an icon but it's an embed and it's got all of the code if you don't know about this i actually have an svg video that you can find out about this just means that we can change the color of these icons let's just call this i don't know blue text color blue 200 that was actually a really dark color so we didn't see anything let's just make it a really garish garish color let's let's change it to a pink there we go look that icon's changed to pink now and we can just just that's how easy it is copying icons before i was having to do this whole thing with figma now it's literally bosh i want this cloud here let's paste it in i've got a cloud and you can edit it and it's svg and it's nice and fast so there's your top tip there Okay, this last tip, number seven, and it's actually eight because I gave you a cheeky free one, is to use the tool keys. So what you do is you push, shift and slash, look at my keyboard at the bottom, and we've got all of these bad boys. Now, if you're not learning your keyboard shortcuts, you need to sort your life out because I'm going to show you one of them that is the most important, and that is Command E. And this is what I was telling you about earlier, if you want to find anything you can call so look div block now i can command e and put another div block in there that's how easy it is you can actually search for your own section so i've got a footer component let's add the footer component into that div block look that's how easy it is you can so you can understand how you can get so nice and speedy with this searching for different components and whatnots look all of these things you can be searching for that's how easy this is you can go by components layouts obviously if you've got your section layout saved this is how oh, it's just it's just flawless you should be using this this is like 50 tips in one. Right, okay, so I've actually given you a lot of juicy stuff right now. I think that is enough for today. But basically, if you want that clonable, you're gonna have to join the Facebook group and I will be releasing a newsletter very soon. There will be no bullshit in it. It's just gonna be freebies. But obviously a newsletter is great for me because it gets loads of you that might possibly down the line want to buy an absolute amazing course but along that pathway i'm going to be giving away loads of free stuff and that style guide which i literally update every month is going to be in there and i will be giving tips of how to utilize that to obviously get them five figure websites anyway please subscribe please join the facebook group please leave me a like please leave me a f you if you hate me i don't really care i don't mind i just want you to make money i want to make money and let's utilize webflow and every web design software possible to become financially free and free our families anyway hope you guys have a great day and i shall speak to you guys soon